Okay, now I'm on page 181 in the GoMath textbook. Pay close attention to how I solve these because these um, are set up just the way your problems in your on your homework are set up. Okay, so number one, uh, 10 over something equals six over three. So this is the ratio I do have. I have the numerator and the denominator, and that's where we always focus. Okay, we focus on the, new, the one that we have both numbers for. That's the one that I'm going to change to a unit rate. Okay, so to get 3 to become 1, I have to do 3 divided by 3, and whatever I divide the denominator by, or the, yeah, the denominator, excuse me, I have to divide the numerator by the same thing. So 3 divided by 3, that's how this, we get this 1. 6 divided by 3, that's going to give us 2, okay? So uh, to get from 2 to 10, going this way, I would have to do what? 2 times 5 gives me 10, okay? 1 times 5 is going to give me 5 here. So 5 is what I am multiplying by, and so that's going to be 1 times 5 is 1. Excuse me, it's 5, Mr. Music, Mr. Music, 5. So the blank is 5. Okay, let's go to number 2. Again, I'm, this is the side that I have both. I have the numerator and the denominator, so that's the side I'm going to work with. I want to change this to a unit rate. So 8 divided by 8, that's how I'm going to get this 1. And then uh, 6 divided by 8 is how I'm going to get my number there. And that I'm going to have to actually do the math for. So 8 into 6, add my, zero, my decimal, add my 0, bring my decimal straight up. 8 goes into uh, 67 times. That's 56, subtract, gives me 4, add a 0, bring it down. 8 goes into 45 times, so 0.75. So that's how they get this number here. Okay. So my unit rate is uh, 0 0.75 over 1 equals... 20 blank over 20. So to get from 1 to 20, I have to multiply by 20. That's going to give me that 20. And then 0 0.75 times 20 is going to give me my top number. So I'm going to have to work that out. i got to multiply that by 20. So let's do 20 times 0 0.75. 5 times 0 is 0, 5 times 2 is 10, done with the 5, 0 placeholder, 7 times 0 is 0, 7 times 2 is 14, add that up, and then I have one, two numbers behind the decimal here, no numbers behind the decimal here, so I have to move the decimal over twice, 1, 2, so, that is going to equal 15, 15.00, same thing as just 15, and we got it. Okay, I'm going to erase my work. You don't need to. I have a limited amount of space. You can get as much scratch paper as you need. Okay, here. This is the side that I have both the numerator and the denominator for. So I'm going to change that to a unit rate, 40 over 8. Make that 0 a little better. Equals, and we want a unit rate. So i got to divide by 8, divide by 8. That's going to give me my 1. And then 8 goes into 45 times. So my unit rate is 5 to 1. So now I can figure out, once I have 5 to 1, now I can figure out 45 
over what? So to get from 5 to 45, I have to multiply by 9. Multiply the bottom by 9. So my missing number is 9. Okay, again, I'm going to erase. You don't need to. Let's do the next one. So I got the numerator and denominator for 42 over 14. So I'm going to take that out. And I want to get a unit rate. Okay, so to get 14 to 1, I have to divide it by itself. And then I have to divide the numerator by the same thing. So 42, how many times does 14 go into it? Well, it can't be 4, so I'm going to try 3. 14 times 3. Uh, <clears throat> I knew it couldn't be 4 because 4 times 10 would already be 40. And then 4 times 4, that's obviously going to go over. So I'm going to try 3. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. Yep, perfectly. Again, I'm going to erase my work. You have scratch paper. You can you have plenty of space. And I already did that multiplication. It, 3 times 14 was, in fact, 42. So my unit rate is 3 to 1. And so now I can solve this. Uh, 3 to 1 is equivalent to this part, blank over 5. I have to multiply by 5. So my missing value is 15. Okay. Again, I'm erasing my work. I never want you to. You can get as much graph paper as you need. All right. So this time they gave me both numbers of the second ratio. So I'm going to take that ratio out. And I want to make it a unit rate. So to get 8 to 1, I have to divide by 8. 8 goes into 56 um, 7 times. And so now I have my unit rate. And I'm going to compare my unit rate to the... Um, the ratio that I don't know yet. So 7 over 1, my unit rate. I wanted to make it equivalent to blank over 2. Uh, I got to multiply 1 times 2 to get 2, so I have to multiply the top by the same number. It's going to give me 14, so my missing value is 14. Okay, if you need to rewind, go ahead, but I want you to solve number 6 on your own. Once you've solved it, raise your hand. I want to check your work, and I expect to see this work. Okay, so if you don't raise your hand for me to check number six, I will know that you're not actually going through the video and listening. You're not following directions. Okay, so go ahead and solve number six. Make sure you have all your work shown so you can raise your hand and show me and say, Mr. Music, here's all my work. Here's my answer. Have I made any errors or am I good to go on? All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.